Yeah, I mean, this cast was pretty incredible. Um, but I, I mean, good material tends to attract, you know, really interesting actors. And I think um, having Janelle Monet on board from the beginning, um, I think all, you know, all the rest of us, I mean, I know about me, I was such a fan of her work and her, I felt like she was such an interesting poet and musician that I was just um, really excited to get to work with her. Um, yeah, it's interesting how um, when something when 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 it's important material, there's sort of like it's like a trauma bond, you know, where it's like e without even ever having a lot of time spent together. I feel like this cast went deep down to the barracks so quickly that we just sort of, you know, formed this sort of um, intimacy, this trust, this understanding that felt like we had known each other for a really long time. Um, it just gives me a really, uh, the fact that this film was made, you know, about two years ago, um, and it's being released during a time where we're experiencing like, you know, the greatest social justice movement of our generation. Um, you know, there's all these, uh, ties of like where police brutality, the roots of pr police brutality was sort of plantation owners, you know, I mean, there's so many, um, ties to this film that it just it actually gives me hope in knowing that as an artist um this is the work that matters in changing and shifting human consciousness and um and through these different embodiment techniques of storytelling and witnessing that we are able to form some sort of um, spiritual catharsis because I think that's really been denied a lot of this, um, the people of this country, because we have never formed collective grief rituals. We have never, you know, reparations now. Um, I mean, there's so many things that need to happen that I feel like because seeing how like Chris and Gerard uh, could perceive of something and they're sort of channeling and writing this story that can be so important to Two years from now just shows me how divine and important um, the work of filmmaking really is, you know. I think that it did a, a really remarkable job at connecting the dots of the past, the present, and the future and reminding us that the past is not dead. You know, the past is not even the past. And having an opportunity to play Veronica Henley, who is a successful um, author, and she finds herself trapped in this horrifying reality where she has to confront the past, the present, and the future before it's too late, uh, was important. You know, this this film highlights uh, what Black women have to deal with every single day as we carry the burden of dismantling white supremacy and uh, uh, systemic racism. You know, this isn't something that we should be doing, yet we are doing it. Um, I think that this film reminds us what's at stake. You know, if we don't, if we don't make changes, if we don't use our, super, our, our power, uh, our privilege for good uh, to protect, you know, black bodies, black, black, black people, black, um, black lives, if we don't do that, um, we will continue to, 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 to see an uprising and we will continue to lose uh, human beings who matter. I think this film will further the conversation around uh, systemic racism, around white supremacy and around racist policy. Um, I think that it is important that we continue to have conversations because through dialogue is how we get to change. And if we, we, we are, if we are continuing business as usual and ignoring, um, you know, uh, the past, which was chattel slavery and how it has, how it has informed uh, all of the racist policies that we have today, um, then we won't get real change. If we don't look at the fact that, you know, policing and police uh, 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 patrols started, uh, you know, in in the Civil War, and and was meant to not protect, but to 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 um, to terrorize. Then we won't get to the real solution and the root of the problem. Well, 
Well, you know, for me, whenever I, I, I am uh, a part of a, a film, it's a family, you know, it's community. I don't get an opportunity to uh, be, be free on screen and take risks without an incredible crew and, and, and cast and scene partners and directors and catering. All of this works in harmony with each other. And I think that between takes, we tried as much as we could to, you know, laugh and, and to eat together and, and talk to each other outside of just making the film. Because there were heavy moments, there were challenging moments. Um, you know, but what we had to do was balance that all out and realize and remind ourselves that it's not, uh, it's not just about us. It's about all of the people who will be impacted by this film when they see it. We hope, I hope that Black women see themselves and feel seen and feel loved and cared for and, and, and you know, um, proud. I, I, I hope that what we can do as humanity is, again, use our privilege for good and really not just be allies, but accomplices to change and accomplices to protecting Black lives. I really enjoy working with Bush and Renz, um, you know, for this to be their first uh, uh, feature length film and for this to be my first leading role, uh, we always have that to say to each other. They are passionate directors um, with very specific vision and it just was an honor, you know, that they would they wanted me to portray uh, this 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 important uh, woman. Absolutely. Uh, when Gabby and I arrived on set, everyone had just come from five weeks of filming on the plantation. And it was, you know, a nightmare what they had come from physically and psychologically and creatively. I think they, you know, it, they had to go through a lot. And we arrived fresh and ready to have some fun. And I think we infused it with uh, a lot of energy. And just immediately, you know, Gerard and Christopher had hired these two amazing powerhouses, Janelle and Gabby. And working with them, they're so talented and open and generous and playful. Um, I think this um, chemistry just, it just popped pretty quickly. Uh, you know, we had two, two big night shoots, was it? Just basically two big night shoots. And it was two five to five days. Yeah, and in that time, we just so quickly, we connected and we had so much fun. So uh, I think yeah, everything that you're seeing on screen is very real, that chemistry was real. I, I love both of those women with all my heart. Well, of course this movie is pertinent for this moment. Uh, and this movie has been pertinent for America since the founding of America. Uh, so while it's coming at a great time for people, you know, it's, it's a wonderful way to continue a conversation and to add something creative and artistic to this dialogue. Um, I also think that it has been, you know, we have been needing this film for a long time. So um, in that respect, you know, it's, it's a timeless film for America.